the house. The attic. Who? Oh? If I was going to capture anything, you know, it was going to be in the attic. And as it turns out, Daniel's instincts are spot on. Watch closely. Oh? What was that? Watch again. As first, a hand with impossibly long fingers rises up, followed by a small face with black eyes. Daniel's camera light goes off, and when it comes back on, it's gone. <laughs> When I seen the face and more of the fingers coming through that I hate space, I thought, I'm not getting out of here alive. Oh? I didn't know what to expect when I watched this video, but then when you see that, you're like, what could that possibly be? That is not of this earth. It literally looks like something out of a nightmare. It's way too big, way too pale, way too gangly to be a person. Honestly, I mean, if I were there and this thing were coming at me, I'd be lucky if I had the presence of mind to open a window before I tried to go through it. But there are no windows in this attic. In fact, there's only one way out. Right where Daniel spotted, whatever that thing was. <laughs> oh! I had to get out of there before now's my time to run. As Daniel makes his way back through the house, his one goal, get out of here, alive. Finally, he reaches the back of the farmhouse, and in his mind, a possible way out. I thought, this is the exit, I need to get out of it. And just before I got to go out the exit, I turned to my um, right, and there was a window. Hello? <laughs> And with that, Daniel's investigation is decisively ended for the night. I just ran and ran for my life. I think it wanted to eat me. I think it was some sort of a cannibal. So, what exactly is this thing? Daniel thinks he knows. The story of the shy guy, um, you know, it, it comes from uh, somewhere in the USA. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff all over social media. He's supposed to eat children, he's supposed to come from underneath child's beds. The shy guy is the embodiment of fear and abuse and, like, mental distress. When you have enough of that happening over a period of time, it snowballs into these grotesque figures that become non-human haunts. Non-human haunts? Just waiting for a victim. <laughs> and though Daniel...